Hey guys, it's me for Redwall, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Anointed, David Saves Keela. Now today, I'm gonna, gonna be exploring the map, see if I can find anything that I missed the first time in my playthrough. So, let's do this. looking around walking in areas that are not on the road people don't respond oh, okay hmm Ah. Uh. Hmm. Can I hit the camel? <laughs> Can I hit any of these animals? No. I don't think it lets me. Hmm. Waterfall. The water. I go over here. Can I climb? No. Could have walked on the water there. Punch the donkey. Okay, oh man. You can't <laughs> attack the animals. The wilderness is vast, what is it? bad <laughs> I feel bad at killing these animals but it looks like the donkey is the only one that has a that has a voice or sound The edge of the map. Into the forest. Let's see what we can find. A bear.
Perhaps later we'll be able to scavenger in this game or some kind of survival mode. Being able to take. Oh, there's a bear! Five hours later. Do they not die? Or this takes a long while. Three bear oh three bears. Four bears. Ah. Killed by demon possessed bear. But I just don't know if if you can kill them because that bear From took a lot Shadow of damage. Boy. Okay, let's continue into the forest. See if I can find anything else. Like I was saying before, maybe later on we'll be able to gather from the from the animals like pelts, furs, bones, skin, uh, like venison, that type of stuff. Like a, similar to other games, similar to Skyrim. Are these all? Are they all hiding here? From the bears? <laughs> nope. Wait, I wonder if they'll follow me to where the villagers are. This way. Follow me. Come on! <laughs> Guys are close. Come on! Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't think they'll follow me. <laughs> follow me this far.
Okay, let's go back. So, to continue to progress the, the quest line and the objectives. I think I did cover the, these, the required and the optional ones. Cause I know in the in the last playthrough, towards the end I forgot to speak to one person and to uh, do another side quest, and then I just ended up speaking to the to the final person, and then they wouldn't let me go back. Ah, it's my first stuck. This area, I didn't go to, to the right. So. There's bears over here. But there is an item that I forgot to get last time. Ah, they're right where my horse is.
Let's go. Here, I didn't go all the way down to where that fire is over here. Go oh, what? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I completely missed this. <laughs> My last playthrough this is what the lion should have been doing attacking all the philistines that were in that one village oh it looked like i messed up the camera there Okay, yeah, I did. I messed up the horse. It's gonna be running sideways. Okay, that was different. I don't even know this was here. I was just, I thought this was an item I could pick up, but it was actually a scene. Wow. Anything in here in between? Oh, oh. 
Let's go, let's go. Ah. Okay, that was already a spear weapon. That weapon always there? Ah. Again, instead of W. Please tell me they do not follow. Come on.
Let's see, can I go up to where this barrier is? Wait a minute. Here now. I think further back there was a way to go. Another round, right? I was barricaded from for my tripping. Oh, these guys are actually fighting now. Right here. Ah. Oh, is it blocked off that I can't go that way? What? Gotta break the game. Oh, I got hurt. Ah, oh, okay, visible barrier. Dang. lines here but when do the lines attack the actual enemy instead of me two lines that could be attacking philistines but instead it focuses on me over here oh the armies are there you can see them from afar but when you're actually there you can't even see them oh this is another okay another thing that I missed David's men are inflicting heavy losses on the Philistines and have freed the livestock. The Philistines are now on the run.
right, is there anything else that I might have met? Forest of Areth. The Forest of Areth is a harsh area in the land of Judah. It is situated at the edge of mountains and desert. It is a hard place to live, but David does not let it discourage him, and instead relies on his faith in God. Areth and Heruth, freedom, are similar in ancient Hebrew, and some believe this is symbolic of the freedom from fear and despair David finds in the forest when being hunted by King Saul. The City of Keilah Keilah meaning citadel was a city on a hill that had bars and gates to protect it. The Philistines during David's time had made inroads to the east and occupied the city. Their presence there was a threat to the Hebrew people, the remnants of an old road leading from Keilah to the Ella Valley via Adulam can still be seen. Threshing Floor A threshing floor has a flat area, usually round and built on stones, where the harvest was prepared by separating the grain from the useless straw for the purpose of attaining the most valuable part of the crop. The threshing floor has a spiritual meaning, as it represents a place where good and bad are separated. Philistine Army The Philistines were a sea people that many believe were of Greek Minoan origin. They were aggressive and caused war in Canaan with the Egyptians hundreds of years before David and continued to encroach upon the lands of the Hebrews or the lands of, he of the Hebrew. They were also a major factor in the transfer between the Bronze Age and the Iron Age as they disrupted the tin output that was vital to the creation of bronze. Here. Awesome. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Come on, man. 
Hang on, baby. Come on, man. Pain to get to this point. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the things that I did in the last time. Bomb 140. Oh, I ended up doing this one after I spoke to Abathar. spies here in Gila. Does he know I am here? Yes, he does, and I fear he will come here. Surely I will be safe here behind these walls, gates, and bars. Please understand the people of Gila have been hurt and are weary. King Saul is mad and will kill them all if they help you. I know this to be true and cannot let that happen. God bless you. to jump around on the top of the buildings but the game has this problem that if you climb on kind of some kind of windowsill it stays stuck there and you can't climb off or hop onto the other one and that's a major problem if you're trying to do some kind of assassin's creed types type gameplay Thing I came over here then. Yep, that's a, definitely Assassin Creed <laughs> inspiration. Now the thing is, I can't really jump into something down there. <laughs> Huh. 
<laughs> you know, stuff like that, you just fall through stuff. David found out the people of Keilah would turn on him and give him to Saul. He left the city. David learned that Saul had come to take his life, and Saul's son Jonathan went to David and helped him find strength in God. Don't be afraid, he said. My father Saul will not lay a hand on you. You will be king over Israel, and I will be second to you. Even my father Saul knows this. The two of them made a covenant before the Lord. Then Jonathan went home. David stayed in the forest. I like his armor. Looks really cool. Okay, guys, that was my playthrough of The Anointed David Saves Keela. Um, I like the game, and I'm hoping the devs implement more things. Because it looks like they're on to, they're moving on to the next game in their series. But I would really like them to expand on this game. Because there's a lot of things that could be added, um, expanded on. To actually make it an open world, that would be really cool. I would really like to see that. And anyways, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. And remember, Jesus loves you.